prayed earnestly and you continue to serve faithfully, the Lord has not ignored your prayer. The Lord has not forgotten your prayers. The fact that God has not answered you, it does not mean he has not heard you. At the right time, while you are busy, no longer focusing on you, focusing on him, then the answer. Sometimes, sometimes God delays our blessings so that we can focus on him because sometimes the blessing they divert our attention from focusing on him. But if our attitude stays on him even when he does not provide, if we don't serve him because he performs, then he will send an angel. Hallelujah. Because faith is not supposed to make sense. We, we are not supposed to make sense of what God says. We are supposed to believe what God says. We should not make sense of what God says. Because when God speaks, He speaks above our senses. Because anything that God does which is beyond our understanding, it's called a miracle. Because in a miracle, God wants to put His name in no one else's name. And when God puts a miracle, when God gives us a miracle, He gives no recipe for it. So that we cannot memorize it. So that we cannot know how he works. So that we will, we will not cram him. They, 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 say, they say we have some cram. I'm going to have some cram. Amen. Yes. Because God does what he wants. When he wants. In the manner he wants. And God's delay is not denied. I'm saying God's delay is not denied. If there is a delay in your request, it does not mean God has denied you. God has not denied you. He is just working you up. He is working your attitude. He is working your mind. So that when he places a blessing in your hand, then you are ready to handle it. Because sometimes when God gives us blessings, when we are not ready for them, we abuse them. Sometimes when God gives us blessings when we're not ready for them, those blessings take us away from Him. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't want to wake up on the wrong side with God. Just like it happened in verse 18 to 20. You don't want to argue with God like this. And in verse number 18, Zachariah is saying, Impossible. How will I know? You don't have to know when God speaks. Yes. 